Hello everyone, this is Dame Mooney Aroni, the founder of Art for Peace Awards Beverly Hills. You're meeting today a woman of history who has been served all her life. Um, I know my purpose and it all started when I was seven. So before I give you my story, I want you to breathe in with me. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Keep breathing because it will help you to understand and hear me better. I don't want to sit down and start writing because then you don't know me. And it's so boring to listen and have no tea. I want you to listen and I want you to see why I'm here. First time in my life, I'm 65 young. I start serving when I was seven years old. When I was nine, I was in a severe accident. I lost my memory. I died, came back from the dead. My doctors were telling my parents, there's no hope for this girl. And when I came back, I told my Lord, give me a second chance and I will serve your planet. So I've been serving this planet since then. I was serving people in school. I was being bullied. But I made my bully my best friend because I had wisdom. When you practice Qigong, you create your Qi. And 65 young, and the skin is not made by the doctors. There's no makeup on the skin. And I have my whole total lifestyle all over the social media. I don't tell anybody what to do, but I'm a runner. I make things happen. I'm here because when I was 14, I already raised two children. Somebody in the neighborhood children, I used to take her off home, feed them. I was always being a mom, born mama. I've, um, if you have a child that's 16 years old, that's my grandchild. Do you understand? So I'm a mama and a mimi. In French, mimi is grandma. So I'm a mama and a mimi, international. And I have helped a lot of students. Then I had a beauty schools and I beauty salons. So in my salon, I have served a lot of this gang bang. I made them human. I created like a Starbucks kind of thing. Naturally, I didn't plan for it. It naturally happened. So I've impacted thousands of youth already in my life. Now my departure time is coming closer and I have to get some more work done. I want to work on children, physical, mental, and emotional and well-being of the kids. I also want to work with the parents. I'm not a politician. There's nothing I can change. I'll give you an example. Pedophilia is a very uh, taboo question, but I'm passionate because I've been a coach for 40 years with these students. I did everything I could to save them. I cannot change people. I cannot do anything. I don't want to become a political figure. I don't want to throw trash on people who are pedophilia. I don't want to throw trash on them. Instead, I want to awaken their conscience. So they themselves said, hey, I don't want to do it. That's the winner. I don't want to do it. That's the winner. And I belong to... Uh, Dr. Hong, he uh, from Federation Love and Peace, the most active global peace leader you're speaking to. So I want to have a program. I already have everything. I need to get this publication, at least make it 10 million of them. Uh, the Sunday, we just last two days ago, Sunday, we discussed, we have an international webinar. We discuss all this and we come up with uh, what we're going to do. Next day, I have seven countries already in it. But the thing is, you know, it takes a funds to do it. Um, I'm already saturated with the funds. And I'll tell you what happened. I had a beauty school where I was able to uh, help these students to become human. It was a rehab center. And it was like acknowledged by the government of America. It was an ideal school for the United States of America. We, we won four times trophy, whatever I do, I try to do my best. Then, you know, child trafficking came into my life from nowhere. I had no idea about child. So I told these people, show me something. 
they took me to this motel in uh, across the, around the border and in the night oh my goodness i've never seen a sight like this young children and kids drug is going on and i was like shaking and i said lord what can i do so and these people are talking about child trafficking and this and that but i'm a problem solver and i do with non-violence wisdom love and peace so i took over this area and i i own almost 13 property in that area i vacated three of them and i rented from my husband and i gave it to this Latinas, uh, gangbang people, and I say, you stay here. I'm going to give you salary every month, but this is what you have to do, okay? So I was in touch with, they were like in the way and they went inside this and they will have tracking. Okay, this is happening, this is happening. Then I went to the police department and I said, look, and they were like, oh, this lady is so cute from Beverly Hills. She wants to clean up our area. She's so nice, let's help her. You see, before they were a bit in favor, right? I changed their heart. They said, okay, let, let's work with her. So I did. I helped them. I will cater the food for the police department. You know, I did many things. Whatever I did, that area got cleaned up with no episode of any child trafficking for two years. I walked away. I said, look, I'm done. I showed you guys what I did and I'm done and you guys have to take it from here. I support them, but I can be part of this, such a nasty area, dangerous area, dangerous area for me, and it's too complex for my children. Safety, I said, I don't wanna get involved. I already have done it. This is a good example what I did. It cost me a lot of money. And all my money, it just went away, just like that. But I was making, so I was spending, no problem. I also was able to pass a legislation in California and passing the legislation to have a manicuring test, esthetician test, and taking the test in Vietnamese. It was a vision when I saw the Vietnamese and I told my husband, these are the criminals of tomorrow. He said, babe, don't go there. Don't worry about it, okay? They're going to be criminals of tomorrow. Who cares? These people have no etiquette they didn't even know how to abuse the toilet so backward total illiterate came from the villages what can they do in this country they don't speak the language okay so i not only passed the legislation i had three of my students i started three salons in california i gave them cash so my husband will not know i said you go ahead and start your business i had them run the business I did all of that, employ my students because people don't want to hire them since they don't speak English. But today, created millions of jobs. It takes a visionary. When you, know, you can sit there, how many people have 501c3? Think about it. How many people have 501c3? But the problem is it's not solved. I'm a troublemaker, shooter. I solve the problem. I do something. I like to finish it. And then I have been a coach uh, in my city, uh, helping these students for a long time, okay? So I have done everything I could from drugs to alcohol, to this, to this, to that, to that. I've done all of it. When I do something, I don't have someone write the check. I do it myself. I've been active since 1979 in African American society changing this youth and I made this gangbang into humans okay then I started working uh, Los Angeles Skid Row feeding them since 1982 we go once a month we feed them everything comes from my pocket I don't have anybody write and check for me okay why am I talking to you because you all are giving money to someone nothing is happening I want you to stop I want you to work with me. Write me a check to Art for Peace Awards and you see the magic. I believe we need to save as many children as you can. There's not one issue. There's a list of issues, okay? And I felt like 
pedophilia is one of the issue, for me, it's very easy to solve it. And you must be thinking she's crazy. No, I'm not crazy. Because I know with people with conscience will not do that. I'm not after ta-ta-ta. I'm not after pointing finger. Those of you who are doing it, I'm going to bring you to the conscience. Then you yourself is going to say, no, I don't want to do it. Not just me, I am nothing. Well, how can I force you? So I want to start education. I have a lot of content written. I've written nine books in cosmetology. Okay, so I have a lot of content. I want to have publication so I can give out free education to kindergartners, what to do to uh, parents, to this, have massive. And you watch in one year, I will have the consciousness built on this subject. And you will see how many people will be aware, not to, um, with their own conscience, they're gonna say no. So that means you have a better society. That means you're gonna have less children suffering. That means you as an adult also suffering. Who feels good hurting a child? No one will feel good in their heart. You know you're doing right, right? You know you're doing wrong. You know it, what you're doing, right? So I cannot change you. I'm not gonna put a finger on you. I'm not going to uh, put you in jail. I'm not gonna do anything like that. I'm coming and changing at the grassroots level. With conscience, I can do it. And I have done it already. I'm talking to you because I want you guys to work with me so we can feed these children better food, healthy food, have basic necessity, and I want to have a place where I can keep these children and make them financially independent, educate them, make better humans so they are better people, all right? And it's the first time in my 65 years I'm asking. Never ask anyone. Art for Peace Award is all sponsored by me. I spend millions of dollars, all right? Now, I need help. And I need you to come on board and work with me on, on the homelessness, work with me on, on children, education, emotional, physical, mental being. Now with all this COVID, during the COVID, I had my neighbor. Both of them called me up. He said, Mooney, I just want to let you know that you're the best human we ever met. And I'm sorry, we are going to leave this planet and just want to call you today. And I said, what are you talking about? He said, we have COVID and we have high temperature. We're not going to sustain. We're not going to the hospital. Just want to let you know. I said, hell no, I'm coming. He said, no, 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 you can't come. I said, I'm coming. I went there with a rolling uh, chair from my library. I took it and I ran over with my housekeeper. He had a mask on. I didn't want any mask on me. I brought them. I, I massaged them with the oil. I gave them the steam bath. I gave them my smoothie. I gave them Qigong four times a day, breathing. And I tell you something, they look better than before. This is September, October right now, going into November. The children left them in March up till today. These children never came to check up on the parents. How are they doing? What are they doing? They keep giving me a lecture. Don't do this and don't do that. I said, hey, look, don't worry about me. So I know what I have to do. So I started an education on it. And I said, look, if you have those ingredients, if you go outside, just come in, take a steam shower, you're going to be okay. Because I have not changed my lifestyle, never been in quarantine. I just work. Just like any other thing, I did more parties in my home during the quarantine than I have ever done in three years time because I was traveling all the time. I'm home now and I want to do some work right here in the United States because right now, you know, with all this uh, unemployment and all of this, I brought investor for United States. We created jobs in the United States already. So I have a long history of creating jobs, tourism, and healing. So healing has to come. With healing, we can heal America. Health is very important. There's no health, there's no wealth. So you're looking at a woman who is 65, young, and this skin, there's no makeup here. And this come from my lifestyle. So I know 
with my effort, with my love and my peace, I can rehab and heal a lot of people. And that's all we can do. Do you understand? I can't change the world. I can change anything, but I can impact a lot of people. So if you join me and help me to have this, all this money that I need to do this work, help me. We can have a nice place where we can take care of our children. Foster children this way, they are so abused. What's the point? What are we doing that for? But the people who do it, because they don't have a conscience. These children, we save them and bring their conscience. They will not be a in child trafficking. They will not be in jail. They will not be doing things immoral. I can't even imagine anybody from my uh, side will ever even think about it. And pedophilia, I feel like I can easily solve it. Easily. So help me educate these children. Help me. I need your help.